Hey, what's up, guys? Brock here. If you like my content, make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell, players. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to This Week in Customs. I am your host, Brock, and I am going to be looking at a ton of customs this week, so I want to get right to it. Let's begin with this awesome-looking Warpath. Of course, we've taken a look at this Warpath before. We gave Michael here some advice, and he took it, and the custom does look better. If you can remember from before, it was super shiny, so I suggested that he would use a matte finish and it definitely has made his custom stand out. Now, I'm not here to critique folks because uh, I'm really just a customizer, an amateur customizer myself, but Michael actually wanted some of that critique and that's why I gave it. So, moving on to this, what, who is this, Rachel Gray? I'm not familiar with the uh, character itself, but I am familiar with what good work looks like and this is an awesome looking paint job really good job i'm not sure where that head's from uh, i'm not really good at that if i don't have the character if i haven't messed around with a figure it's hard for me to figure out the part but hey why don't you try to figure out the parts as i go through these pretty cool looking customs definitely like the browns and the shading you see the shading he's done there he's highlighted areas where light would typically hit and is given that contrast and depth uh, of feel to that figure and it makes it look pretty cool nicely done Here's Harker Customs. I think he's going to make these available to you. So if you're interested in picking stuff up from him, anytime I uh, I show some of these customizers that uh, sell their stuff, I'll let you know. This is a pretty cool looking Red Skull mask. Very nice candied red look to that head sculpt. Nicely done, Eric. Oh man, somebody beat me to it. Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to do this custom and I have it planned out and it's not going to be exactly like this But I think what Corban did here uh, It really works. I those are the uh, MCU Thanos uh, build the figure legs and he's made it work with that uh, Monster venom R looks really promising. I'm gonna keep my eye out. Obviously. He's doing some sculpting there uh, He's doing that t-shirt look looks pretty darn good good so far i'll keep my eye on him as he progresses remember if you want me to take a look at your customs make sure to hashtag this week in customs because that way i will make sure that uh well I, it will come across my desk or my whatever you call it what do you call it oh gosh brain brain freeze moving on i like uh to also show the contrast here when you when you give the figure some love. He did a really great job on the eyes. Look at that. You see how the eyes actually look very natural. He's added the uh, I forget. I'm not a <laughs> I'm not super great in anatomy, but the inside part of the eye, the red part of the eye, I know there's a specific name to it. But uh, he's done a really good job in bringing this face to life. But let me just point out some of the things that that have made this uh, head stand out. Uh, and make it he's made it look like very realistic one of the things i realized that he's done he, you see the imperfections on the skin i forget what those are called the sunspots or whatever uh that technique i've seen uh, i've done it myself what you do is you put a little bit of paint at the uh, tip of the like a hard bristle paintbrush and then you just kind of flick it on there and as you see, some of them will come out small, some of them come out bigger. Really just a wonderful job uh, on this skin. Uh, the eye gloss, he's probably put some sort of clear acrylic. I like to use Future Pledge Floor Shine on the eyes to give them that glistening look. Man, just the, everything about the skin, all the different, you know, the reddening, uh, the reddening. I'm not sure if that's even a word. Well, that is an am amazing paint job. The more I looked at it right now, I'm going, man, this guy knows exactly what he is doing. All right, moving on uh, to this custom here. Uh, it's a Duros, right? Yeah, there you go. Really great job on the face. Uh, I haven't featured too many Star Wars customs. I'm familiar with this customizer. He does a very good job. He pumps these out. And uh, look at the look at the eyes. <laughs> I think he did great, and you can see in the even in the green there, he's he has different tones of green, and again, it gives the figure depth. Uh, you it really helps bring out the sculpt. 
and uh, just a, a great job. You guys are familiar with this guy right here. Let me turn this music down so I don't get a copyright strike. Let me let me try that again. This is a uh, Doo Dog, and it, he's uh, infamous for doing this. Infamous or famous? Yeah, he's both. So he likes to do these six arm figures. He's done multiple Spider-Man, and there is actually a Deadpool that has six arms. I can't remember what comic it is. You can go to his page and ask Doo Dog uh, yourself but uh, it looks cool. There's just something about six arm figures, right? And he's done this, uh, obviously he still has the ab articulation on this figure. Uh, doing the custom this way, uh, we all know that what suffers is that the pegs, you see how they kind of stick out right there? They don't look as natural as the natural arms because they're really recessed into the body. We still haven't figured out a way how to do that well. So we're waiting for a customizer to actually figure out how to use the space given in the figure to be able to recess the arms in. Uh, who knows, maybe maybe we could use some hot glue and uh, and go deeper into the figure. I had a trouble doing it on my six arm Spider-Man, so did James, uh, but that figure still looks awesome. Uh, it's just something unique about having six arms, right? It stands out. You know what stands out? Another beautiful paint job right here on this uh, Hot Girl Custom. It's really nice. I think that that head may be from just, obviously, I, I don't think he sculpted the head himself. That He, he probably took that from one of the uh, pre-existing uh, figures, uh, DCUC figures. But wow, the paint job is so nice. Look at the wings on that too. Really nice. I wonder where those wings are from. I know a lot of the Spawn figures, older McFarlane uh, Spawn figures will have these wings. Uh, and also not just Spawn figures, other figures. Uh, but those are really nice looking wings and it works so well for that figure. Here we have a buddy of mine, Dark Holocrom. He has this uh, Mara Jade figure. Looks really nice. Uh, good kit bash. Good use of soft goods and uh, Marvel Legends uh, figures can be used for Star Wars figures. How about that? And it looks like he put, yep, she's got double jointed arms, which is a rare find. Uh, my guess is that those were the Black Series Luke figure because he does have skinny arms and it does work for well for female figures. Eric, correct me if I'm wrong, but that looks like those are the arms if you're interested and having your female figures have double joints, the, that Luke, that Black Series look, Luke is a, a very good figure to use. This is one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters. Really well done here. Uh, I wanted to show off this custom. Oh, and he also has, uh, who is this? Is this a Conan? Yeah, it's a Conan. But I really like this Snake Eyes. Uh, if you don't know how to sculpt that head, uh, Toy Box Customs right here on Instagram. Uh, he's got a head for sale that you can use for Snake Eyes. I've thought about doing one, but I just I have so many other uh, Marvel characters that I want to do, and I like GI Joe, but not as much as I like Marvel, so that's why I haven't done one. And but it looks like he's used. Uh, those are the the Rhino. Uh, help me, uh, what's Scarlet? Is it Scarlet Spider-Man? Ben Riley Spider-Man? Uh, I, I recognize the legs from that figure, but it does look like... I don't remember that figure having butterfly joints. Does he have butterfly joints? Maybe it does. That may be the base figure, or, or that... But that actually looks like the Spider-Man 2099. I'm a little bit confused. But I'm sure you guys will be able to figure it out. I think that's a really good looking uh, snake eyes. Look at this. The the paint job is uh, just fantastic. Obviously the sculpting is fantastic too. I personally wouldn't want to use that figure uh, because of the articulation, but look at, look at the result. I mean, you can't argue with the result. That just looks amazing. Really great. A doomsday custom beautiful job uh, we've been following this custom for a while I think this is finally finished wait no did I show this last week I know I sh I've been showing this uh, the progress but I can't remember and the event that you missed it last week no I think he's added all the different 
accessories to this custom. It looks really well done. Good ma Maestro. We're going to have another Maestro later on in the episode that it's a different version of Maestro. Both look really nice. It looks like he's, got, he's killed Venom. He's killed everybody. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This guy is loaded up with every part. Ooh, nice hammer. No wow, that's a metallic hammer. That looks really nice. You're familiar with Pounds978 of YouTube fame. Uh, he's a singer-songwriter. Check his stuff out. And he just does amazing line work. I think I have a, another one of his customs on here too. I have actually a different picture. I want you to see it in the daylight. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, this is taken under uh, the white light inside and this is natural daylight. Look at the tones on this figure. Sometimes you can't appreciate the figures, uh, the figure work and the paint job just from videos and pictures. Hopefully this is, I think this picture uh, better shows it. Maybe he hadn't put that blue hue. You see that? Look at the tone and black and blue just looks so good. What a beautiful paint job. I know he's been using airbrush. He may have done that with an airbrush. It looks like he did it with an airbrush, but man, the guy is a machine on those lines. It looks like a machine did it. Like I, I would love to be able to do that, but he's put so much time and effort into working on that craft that, that uh, uh, it's just a, a skill, an amazing skill that he has to look at. It. It's just a beautiful line work. I, I love the concept of the Spider-Man Punisher uh, and a beautiful job, job well done. Uh, here's another GI Joe Sartan armored up. Sartan looks really good. Again, this is one of the guys that I would want to make, but I just don't have time. Uh, I work really slow and I and I prefer personally I prefer the Marvel stuff but look how that's an awesome looking uh, Sartan very geared up the tattoos I would like to take a, a, a closer look at those tattoos to see if he actually painted it on or if he used some sort of um, water decals uh, but I think when I there's an anarchy symbol so you can kind of see it Wow it's a little bit on the grainy side, so I can't tell for sure. But what I can tell is that that is a beautifully done custom. Great kit bash, great use of parts. Boom, premium looking figure. And speaking of premium looking figures, this is a repaint of uh, the, the storm that we got. <laughs> well, and actually he sculpted a little bit on the hair too. This guy's paint is off the hook. Mike is one of the premier uh, painters, in my opinion. I'm customizers, uh, but his paint just stands out. He can take, he's one of those guys that can take a basic looking figure that you pay $20 for and then make it look like $150, $300 figure. Just look at that. Just a little bit of attention, a little bit of love. Whoa, those eyebrows are a fly player. Look at those eyebrows on her. Yeah, big difference when you when you even just change the paint scheme too, going uh, adding that white just makes that figure uh, stand out more. And it looks like he's done some sort of dry brushing to those pants, almost like a silver. Uh, hard to hard to tell uh, from the from this picture anyway, but this definitely has done some dry brushing. Oops, sorry guys, couldn't get it uh, to stick. But uh, and he's and he's done yeah he's repainted he's repainted the whole entire figure. The skin, you can see even and even on her skin, I'm trying to blow it up uh, manually, but it's not working. But uh, even on her skin, he's added different shades to it, again, giving it that depth of feel. All right, moving on to another uh, custom. This one came across me because you notice he did the hashtag this week in customs. If you want to get uh, a, a higher chance of me seeing it, because I do look at a ton of customs, throughout the week, make sure you hashtag that. He's doing some sculpting to this figure. Uh, it's an old cable, an old man cable. <laughs> I like uh, what he's doing with that beard right there. Pretty cool looking. And it looks like he's used that nuke head that we've seen time and time again. Actually pretty versatile. All right, 
Uh, I'm not super into dinosaurs, but I know at least one of you uh, that watched this show are, and I ran across this one, and it's so funny because then Joey tagged me on another one of uh, Brick Battalion's customs. Really well done uh, paint. I'm trying to see if it would have been cool if you would have put a before and after uh, picture. Is this is this one of the big? No, no, this is not one of the giant uh, uh, dinos that came out from Jurassic Park. There's one in the back over there that looks pretty awesome too. That T-Rex that he it looks like he's done into a devil dinosaur. That looks pretty awesome. Did I say awesome a bunch of times that time? All right, cool. Another uh, hashtag this week in customs. Let's take a look at this Lady Punisher. Uh, I haven't, I've never read a, uh, about a Lady Punisher. I didn't know that she existed. I haven't come across her in any of the comics that I've read. But, uh, so I really don't know what the character looks like. I like the design on the chest. It's pretty cool. And uh, since I'm working on a Nightwing, this one stood out to me. An armored Nightwing. Uh, I, I'm not sure if that's sculpted. Uh, because Is this the Daredevil body? From the Man-Thing wave? The head's unique. It looks like he may have sculpted it from another figure, but I, I really don't know. So it's tough to for me to tell sometimes what's the custom part. It looks like he could have sculpted that, that emblem and those shoulder pieces. But it does work. Uh, the kit bash works. I like it. I dig it. Nicely work, nicely done. Another G.I. Joe custom. Which one is that? Is that the body that he used? No, wait a second. Yeah, this may actually have been the body that he started with and then progressed to here. He says that this is his first post of 2019. He's working on a, a Crimson Twin, a Tomax and a Zamet. Damn it. There you can see some of his uh, sculpting. And it looks like this may be a uh, work in progress. That's what he's trying to achieve right there. Good deal. Cool. Yeah, he's definitely a G.I. Joe fan. Check out that Destro on the back. Nice. Whose head is that? Oh, son of a gun. It always happens. Come on, girl. Stay on the right picture. Uh, I can't get it, but that's the head. What head is that? That works. That's a perfect head for Destro. That Destro looks pretty sweet. That's a character I'd like to make too. All right, uh, here's a Korg. This custom's been going around, and he started it from those two figures. Look at that, huh? Look at th this is a perfect Korg face. That is a great job on that face. I mean. That looks like the cork from the movie. Yeah, and he you can you can see where he got the, the sculpt or how he sculpted that face on there. Really good work. I love seeing progress shots because then you can see uh, how sometimes how you, you can work backwards and you can figure out how you can do it yourself. Wow. And where did you get the armored parts from? Did you actually make that? It doesn't say, but it, it's a pretty impressive looking custom. Look at that. Pretty much straight out of the movie. This is probably the best cord custom I've seen. Uh, I don't, like you guys know, I'm not that into the MCU figures, but when there's an MCU figure that's done well like that, I literally have not seen anything better than uh, this MCU Korg. I, I doubt that Hasbro will do better. Matter of fact, didn't they put something out? Yeah, I, I just doubt that they could do better than that. That's that's near perfection right there. Here's a, uh, a version of a Hydra Thor. I don't remember him from the comics. But if you want to imagine a Hydra Thor, uh, red and uh, see, red and yellow, uh, green and yellow, there's what one would look like. And I guess it's part of this concept art, and that's where he got it from. Here's some work in progress shots of a customizer working on different customs. It looks like he's just starting out, and he requests critique. So those of you that uh, have some experience and you want to give him some critique on his customs to help him out, by all means, go for it. 
one of the things that I would tell you, and, I, and, and I've noticed that you're sculpting a lot, and uh, I'm by no means a, a good sculptor, uh, but I think you're going about it the right way. Just start throwing stuff down and figuring it out. Obviously, if you can't, if you haven't taken any classes at school or you can't take classes at school, well, you're just going to have to learn on the job uh, and on the go. And it looks like that's what you're doing here. Keep sculpting. You'll start getting uh, smoother lines. Uh, smooth. You make sure you're sanding all your your sculpt. But one of the things that I can tell you on the paint is, and I wish I could. You know what I'm gonna do? Maybe I'll just blow it up um, after the fact. Right now I'm blowing it up, and I would tell you to thin your paints and don't be in a rush. Wait until your paint dries in between coats, and that way you will have a smoother look to your uh, your figures. All right, moving on to this one right here. He's going to be working on a young and an old uh, vulture. It looks like he's doing some sculpting on the mask. I'll keep my eye uh, on this custom as it progresses. So yeah, he's hashtagging it this week in customs. Keep hashtagging it this week in customs with your progress, stranded customs, and I will uh, I'll show it as we go. Just like I have with this maestro. This is a really nice looking Maestro, and as you saw just earlier as I flipped through it, look at the size. Uh, that's the SH Figure Arts Hulk that everybody raves about. Uh, now you can see the height difference and the size difference with this Maestro, and I think it's perfect, man. Really great job on this custom, and as you remember, he pieced this together. Uh, go back and watch a couple weeks. I think it may have been the last week or the episode before last where he showed how he got this from, uh, he used the Abomination. And it was great, great progression. He's using part of the Juggernaut legs right there. What else is he using? Yeah, yeah, just a really good job. Good looking Maestro Hulk. Here's someone that's uh, starting out customizing too. He's showing off uh, and making those lines is hard. I haven't tried it myself, but uh, I've painted lines, over lines, and I know that's very difficult. This is a custom Venom. The video is kind of hard. It, uh, it, it looks like it's a cool custom, but the focus is a little, just a tiny bit off. Maybe in the future, if you get a, uh, uh, a clear shot, I'll show that uh, custom again. The master kit basher himself, Mark I Lab Creations, uh, with, uh, what is this? An Asgardian Scourge, the Executioner. So let's guess some of the parts here. Can you guys guess some of the parts here? Uh, I, I see that he's using some, uh, it looks like that's part of Ares, uh, the DC Ares on the skirt there. I believe that's where it's from. And then he's got, is that the Onslaught upper body or parts of the Onslaught upper body? Uh, that could be Colossus arms, the near Colossus. And then those legs are from a Thor. The feet are from Colossus. So he's got quite the kit bash there. I don't know if I'm correct on all those parts. Maybe on some of the parts I'm correct. Put it down in the comments below what parts you think the, this dude is using. Where's his head from? Look at that. <laughs> it works. It works really well, man. I, I like the look of that figure. I like to see it finished. He usually takes this type of pictures. Uh, I'm trying to remember if he's shown. Yeah, he, he'll do some colored versions too. This it looks like it's primed, ready for paint, unless he's doing some black and white version that I'm not familiar with. Uh, here is a, a Daredevil Customs, pretty cool. He's got some accessories that are interchangeable. It looks like he's interchanging at the bicep swivel. Those are all the different parts for this Daredevil. Looking pretty good, man. Nice. Bargain Bin Customs has been on the episode before. This is a version of Spawn Cowboyed Out. Looking pretty darn good. So I'm just gonna let the video play out so you can see the different shades. Uh, he's obviously dry brushed here. And dry brush is a technique where you just put a little bit of the paint on the end of the brush and then you wipe the paint off on paper towels you wipe off pretty much all the paint and then you just rapidly go over the, the raised parts of the figure and it'll highlight the figures and that's what you're seeing. So he's done a lot of dry brushing on here, a lot of detailed, uh, the sculpting is very well done. And that head is awesome. That hat looks awesome. 
I'm not sure if you made that hat yourself or if that came from a different figure. I think that's from a, a Spawn uh, figure, but I can't place it. But obviously, it's got Marvel Legends articulation. Very good. Awesome looking custom. Here's a, uh, a version of Bane that this customizer is working on that looked pretty good. Dig the head. Where did the head disappear to? There it is. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, I like that mask. I'm not sure if you made that yourself. Uh, I I don't recall where it's from. It looks like he's using the uh, a Thor figure. Uh, that that chest is it unworthy Thor? One of the recent Thors that have been released, uh, and I think that is a good body uh, to use. And then. Talk about a versatile head. We've talked. I, I've, I've talked about this head. I've used it in a couple customs, and we're going to take a look at this bullseye head that he's turning into the toad. He's got this um, tongue accessory. It's pretty awesome. And is using. Oh, it's, it looks like it's a paper clip frame that he's using for that tongue. And uh, here's the the head that's painted. Look at that, man. That's where it came from, and it's a great head for Toad. I can't wait to see this uh, custom finished. The paint is really well done on the face. Now you can see a great job on the body. It looks really nice. Uh, he's airbrushing, and I think what airbrushing really helps do is lay that base level, uh, base coat down. Uh, and so it looks like it's factory done, right? And then he's done highlights here, most likely with the airbrush. Uh, it looks like it's done with the airbrush. It's just so clean and great job on the face. I can't wait to see that custom uh, put together and see what you got on Toad. Here's another really good customizer. I love his punishers, man. He does a lot of punishers, uh, Bordag Customs. And I'm just gonna give you a 360 here, and then I'm gonna show you, uh, he takes his final picture, he does a really good job with the pictures. But I wanted you to take a look at the 3D, uh, so that way you can see the, the depth of the figure. Awesome accessories, now let's take a look at the finished work. Look at that, man. It's a beautiful custom. I like seeing Punishers, like large Punishers. It looks like he's used like a, um, some sort of the, the toy biz lower body because it's got the ball jointed hips. I, it's hard for me to tell where where those uh, arms are from. I can't tell. Some of you, some of somebody will. But the logo, the blood spatter on there, really well done. And I love this mask, the the painted up face of Punisher. I, I at some point I'd like to do something like that. Fantastic accessories, and great job on the picture, dude. All right, coming nearing the end of this week, this week's this week in custom. Lee Aller is another premier customizer in the game, and I just wanted you to take a look at this. the The paint job on this thing is so ridiculous. Uh, the accessory is really well done, but let's take a look at the the figure itself. That. I, I'm trying to. I was trying to figure out how what he laid down first. My guess is so that that um, that bluish white upper part, he would probably lay down down first, and then he paints the black over it, and then most likely the last thing he painted was the green. Again, just a guess. Uh, that's probably how I would have gone about it. I I think he nailed the logo, man. Uh, I want, uh, this is one of my uh, favorite uh, villains. Dr. Octopus is one of my favorite villains. He was great in uh, Superior Spider-Man and then now he's Superior Octopus. Dude, uh, I need to have that. Uh, I need to have that custom eventually on my, uh, well, on my shelf. All right, folks, we have finally finished. This was a really long episode of This Week in Customs. I hope you stuck with it, players. Please share this video with those who you think would enjoy this type of video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.